Hi, I'm Mike Martin. Today I'm going to tell you about an exciting new technology. I'm going to tell you about the X-Core 86 uh, device on chip. The X-Core 86 device on chip is a complete computer motherboard on a single chip. The chip has everything that you need for a computer. It has the BIOS, it has uh, the I.O., it has the X86 processor, floating point, watchdog timer, everything on a single chip. This is a, a module that has uh, the X-Core 86 and RAM. This is a complete computer on this chip right here. Now, to give you an idea how exciting this is, let's uh, take a look at uh, a very popular device that's a media player. This media player right here uh, is big enough that uh, we could literally build it using uh, the uh, X-Core 86 CPU. Now, imagine a device that is this small that's able to run Windows XP, it's able to run Linux, it's able to run uh, BSD or any other x86 operating system out there. Or, to give you another idea, this is uh, one of the uh, smaller uh, smartphones on the market today. This is a Nokia E71. Uh, it's been uh, lauded for being very thin, very small, and uh, take a look at this. This uh, X-Core 86 module right here is small enough to fit inside of this E71, meaning that we could create a device that's this small that could run Windows, that could run uh, Linux, uh, a complete computer in a device this size. This X-Core 86 module is the most energy efficient X86 computer on the market today. At 1 gigahertz, it only uses 1.2 watts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a product that we're releasing in June. This is the new second generation Gecko EduBook. Uh, we've designed this primarily for, uh, for children. Uh, and we are showing it to developing countries right now. And uh, let me tell you a few things about it before I put it together. Right here, uh, we see an SD, internal SD. We also have an external SD for extended storage. But instead of having a uh, flash soldered onto the board, uh, we have this SD module so that we can upgrade the memory or we can also um, uh, swap out uh, 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 modules. Uh, we can uh, configure based on the price that we want to sell the unit at. Uh, we can put one gigabyte in or 32 gigabytes in, depending on what the requirements are. We also have a standard IDE connector, so it is possible to put a hard drive. This space over here will store the 2.5 inch hard disk. And here we have a USB uh, slot, so it's possible to add USB features internal to the device. We could put GPS, so we could put GPRS, Edge, uh, Wi-Fi, uh, we could put uh, WiMAX, all these things could fit inside this unit. And if we don't use a hard drive, there's enough space in here that we could mount a hub and put uh, maybe a couple or three devices internally, such as uh, WiMAX uh, uh, and, and uh, Bluetooth or GPRS and, and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, all inside this unit. My favorite feature are the batteries. Instead of having expensive proprietary battery packs that uh, you have to pay $100 to replace, what we are using are just standard nickel metal hydride batteries. Now these nickel metal hydride batteries will run this system for uh, four hours. It's possible to uh, carry uh, spares with you so that uh, you can charge them up and then you know, a, a spare set you can go eight hours. For those people who consistently use the system for a long time, like a long plane trip, we can uh, configure this to use uh, lithium ion batteries so we can run on six hours per charge. But uh, the configuration I like is this configuration because it allows me to swap out the batteries uh, very, very cheaply. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our X-Core 86 processor board that I showed you before, and I'm going to plug it into here. All of the computing is stored on this module right here. This is just simply the I.O. run out to the various ports and the, and the DC power supply internally. So just like plugging in RAM, I just snap it in and we put our module internally. Uh, notice there's no fan. That's very important because uh, if there are no fans, uh, we're not sucking dust into the system and dirt into the system. Uh, we don't, or we're not using two watts of power to drive the, the fan. And uh, it's perfectly silent. We can use this in a library, we can use this in a school system, and you don't have to uh, listen to the whining helicopter sound of a noisy fan. Okay, now I put the system together. And another feature that I want to show you is that instead of having to carry around an adapter, uh, we just have a power cord. This is particularly nice for children so that uh, they don't have to uh, lug around another uh, device which is easily forgotten and lost. And in most cases, uh, your, your laptop vendors are going to charge you an expensive price, like maybe $50 to $60 
for that adapter. Here we have just a $2.50 cord that uh, we can use if it ever gets lost or replace it with. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this around and uh, see one more feature, which is that we can put our own photograph or a printout here so we can customize the netbook uh, in an education situation. That's really nice because every child gets a chance to customize it and identify their own uh, product uh, nicely. So now I'm going to talk to you about the, the price and features of, of this particular netbook. This netbook is not like other low-cost uh, netbooks because it has a very nice bright screen. It also has a, a, a good full size, uh, well, I won't say full size, probably three quarter size keyboard. So, uh, not like the uh, very, very small, cheap uh, netbooks where the keyboards are, are so small that it's like typing on a, a telephone keypad. Uh, this one is, is quite usable with a little bit of practice. The screen itself is, is, a, is really a full screen. Uh, when you do word processing or, or uh, you do uh, uh, look at web browsing, you don't have to scroll side to side. Instead of being only about uh, 800 by 400, this, uh, uh, re uh, this uh, screen has a resolution of uh, 1024 by 768. And uh, as you can see, we're booting up into Windows right now. Uh, and I'll go in another video and tell you a little bit more 